about the difference between a reissued Loganberry pattern from Imperial Carnival Glass. Uh, I just found this out myself, so I thought I'd pass along my experience to everybody else. Uh, why it's so important, because if you get the reissued vase, you can maybe sell it for about $50, uh, but if you find the original, it's worth $800. So um, this one I found at a Regional Estate sale. It's got the raised relief uh, Loganberry design. And I was all excited. I was like, oh gosh, I found the treasure. I'm gonna get me some money here. Well, after I researched it, um, Imperial Glass was bought out later on, uh, in the late 1900s by different companies that created their patterns. Okay, so this was actually a reissued pattern. Um, so, how did I find out it was? First of all, uh, the scalloped edge, I realized only had six, six scalloped bumps on top, whereas the original, it shows you in a picture here. All right, this is my first video, so this is a, a picture of what it's supposed to look like and that has like oh gosh I think nine scalloped bumps on it edges the edge anyway okay so also I found out that if it has a what they call a stippled bottom meaning bumpy texture then it's also a reissue um, and also, if you find the letter or stamp IG, or there's other, some other stamps that you can find. But also, it's very iridescent, and I think the earlier patterns weren't quite this iridescent. So, like I said, I could probably get $50 for this, and that's not a bad thing. And it's a beautiful vase. But as I said, had I found the original, um, here's a picture of the original here. Looks pretty much like it except like I said if you look at the top it's a little it's slightly different so had I found this one I would be sitting pretty good right now anyway so um, that's it for today's session and so till next time remember stop throwing cash in the trash <laughs>